Hello. So this is the course Moodle page, which I will use as the hub for all of the other resources that we use in this class. So you can see right at the top, we have the announcements tool, which is where I will post, well, announcements to the class as a whole. Uh, for example, after each class, I'll generally send a broadcast announcement out to everyone with sort of the announcements at the end of the day. This is so that I don't have to spend class time on announcements with regards to upcoming exams or things like that. Uh, these will come to you in an email, but if you want to review them, you can click this particular tool and see them later and review them. Uh, here is the syllabus, which you're already familiar with, um, and the what exactly we are going to learn in this class document that's been discussed a couple of times, and it's as it exactly says, it's a full list of everything we're going to learn in this class. I recommend you give this a read. You also have the math I expect you to know and a link to the class Slack board. Uh, this is the forum we will use for asynchronous communication, have a homework question or a question about a practice exam, go here. This is where we'll deal with those types of issues. Um, we're using Slack because it's a very common tool that's used in a lot of industry. And also right here at the top, you'll have sort of the uh, questions or polls of the moment. So right now, for example, you have the team preference question. At other points in the semester, you might have other, other things. So as we scroll down, we have uh, other course tools. We have a link to the UMass Amherst Zoom account the textbook, the Infinity homework system. You can see that this is not available until you've answered all the questions in the syllabus correctly, Echo 360, and then some potentially useful stuff, including 3D printed models for the course and the 131 textbook. So if there's something from Physics 1 that you don't remember, here's a link to my 131 textbook that you can use for review. Uh, then there's a section on where can I get help? Uh, right now, this section is empty because it requires us to know like the office hours of all the TAs and everything like that. So as schedules get set throughout the semester, this section will get populated. This is where you can find my office hours, help room hours, SI sessions, you name it. Uh, below that, you have all of uh, the individual units that we'll use in this course. There are five units. And the homework due date is at the top of in the title of each unit here. So this is the homework due date for the first unit, 31 of August. And as discussed elsewhere in the syllabus, all homework is by default due at 10 a.m. And then you also have sort of the guiding questions for each unit. So our first unit, we're going to explore why does chemistry work? We know electrons and atoms exist in discrete energy levels. Why is that true? So you can see that there. Uh, within each unit, you have the equation sheet, uh, a folder for all the in-class materials. So before each class period, I will post the slides, which have the problems that we're going to do. So you can follow along. And then after class, I will upload them again with all the solutions. And then there are also additional practice problems. So these are already all here. They're just additional practice problems. Uh, for the course. These aren't graded. They're just here for your practice. I know some people like more more practice than others, and that's what these are here for. So they're just PDF worksheets of additional practice problems. Then you've got sections for the individual exams with the tentative exam dates and the equation sheet. I'll talk a little bit more about the exams as I come to a later section. So here's the next unit. Uh, you can see there's a section for the Moodle quizzes. So Later in this syllabus, we'll talk about how the quizzes work. Uh, some of the quizzes can be done online, so they will appear under this heading. Uh, so once we get to uh, exam two, there's a little bit more information. So once again, there's the equation sheet, and then you have the exam from last time I taught the course here for practice. So you can use this. It's not graded. It's just there for practice and that's a resource that's already available for you. Um, I have them for exam two, but not exam one, because for exam one, we were face-to-face -face, uh, in the spring. And so 
I don't have an online exam for that yet, but I will upload a practice exam for you. I'll convert my uh, paper exam to online for you to practice with. Uh, sometimes there will be additional resources like this circuit simulator link that you can follow to help you with, and that's basically all of the materials that are here on Moodle. So it's a rather extensive Moodle course. You can see there's already quite a bit of stuff there for you to go and have a look at. Go ahead, peruse it, give it a look. All of that's there for you. This is a ends the tour of our Moodle page.